So at what point did you say, you know what, let's ah. call it us? Open down Kani way. <laughs> I didn't even decide to call a pastor. Just some cousin of mine called me and says, I, I've heard something. My, there's this man of God I met somewhere who just tells me it's complicated. Oh, okay. Probably. As a lawyer, I know the child. Yeah. What do I have? What have I done? Have I killed anybody? But I was. It's life. Then. I called mom when I realized I wasn't getting well. Mama, she just laughed and said, "Mwana wandi ule mo na ipipa no tuafika ushefu taba tuwe shapo." Yeah. Those are words of a very elderly woman. I said, "Oh, okay. So probably it could be." Mm -hmm. Anyway, come with me. Just one man of God came and just looked at me. He just said, "Let's pray." Within five minutes, I was okay. Serious. But what did <laughs> you change your perspective? Eh? Very much. I understand life differently. I believe God allowed me to go through that because it also stirred up my spirituality. If you've noticed, all the time we've been discussing this, one or two times I'll talk about God because I started to learn about God, understand Him. I'm born from a Christian family, but you know, as you are growing, especially if you come from a Christian home, we take it for granted. Mm. Yeah. Not realizing that right now you're only surviving because of the prayers of your father and your mother, maybe who are very spiritual. Yeah. But there comes a time in life when you need to start fighting those spiritual battles on your own. Mm -hmm. Fact is, they're always there. Even you have them, I have them. It depends on the level. Do you know who attacked you? Who sent you? I don't want to know. The spirit. Why? The red arrows. Um, yeah. I don't want to know. It's fine like that. Why? I would I be know. curious. No, no, no. I wouldn't want to know. Because I would want to understand Ungachimwe. why. <laughs> <laughs> so you're better off not knowing as long as you're fine. You can follow them physically. And I would uh, tell them to do it again. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know my God very well. But how did that affect your family? I can imagine how because It you was know, crazy. Yeah. It was crazy. You know, you wake up, then your daughter just wakes up, looks at you, Daddy, you look so thin. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was crazy. But it's life. Okay, I, I can tell that you are trying to, 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 to finish this story as fast as no, possible. No, it's too long. You yeah. can't even exhaust it. He has a seal on my battery with my camera going so. I have a seal, it's okay. I'm going to charge I'll be changing the batteries as we go. It's a long story. Yeah? But I think that's, that's enough. So it's true. If you want to listen to that song, Umoyo Wanga, Pumotenga Umoyo Wanga, whatever I say in that song is gospel. Truth. So in that song... I went through in, all that. In that song, I'll tell you again, Mulomo Winango, there were some speculations that... <laughs> you were attacked by your fellow, there were some fellow artists that probably would have attacked you, people from the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you believe there's witchcraft in the industry? Maybe entertainment, you maybe see, not I just have, music, um, but entertainment industry as a whole. I believe there's witchcraft in every aspect of life. Yeah. So if there can be witchcraft in, in a corporate entity, more woman to one zero, follow one. Educated, yeah. if there, there's witchcraft. So I want to believe. If it can be found in church, then even in music, it should Have be there. Have you witnessed any witchcraft in the industry? Like uh, somebody told you, Danny, kutika nimbo akakapite. Uzafu nika, utendeko, uendeko vasoso, wakumusamikeko maybe or something. I have never, because, um, you know, people, they know. Me, my style of music from day one has been natural. So even those people, before they approach you, maybe they will look at you and see you look like you really want it and maybe you are desperate. Oh, yeah. Then they can approach you to say they are alternatives. Me, I just started hammering one on one, one on one, one on one, one on one. So I don't know that type of way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you've heard I've been blessed to say that um, every time I did my music at my peak, I never struggled to do a song that people would respond and appreciate. Yeah. So it's, it's a gift. And uh, so I've never had the struggle to say, because it's only when you're struggling that people will bring alternative ways of trying to achieve something. Okay. Did you think Kaya was going to be as big as it was? I knew. Yeah. Under the title of that album was Kaya. Okay. So there were about 15 songs. Mm -hmm. But why did I name it Kaya? Because I knew that it was that this is the song. It had songs like, 
Aina ngo ya maimbo banya ya zitu ba ba kwa fa. You even forget eh? <laughs> so, mwana, so many songs. So yeah. people got excited with this one. Eh? They danced to this one, but me, I knew that when this album settles down, this is the song that people will be listening to. Yeah. What was going through your mind when writing Kaya? Did something happen? And then it just gave you something to think about and say, hmm, okay. It's just something I told myself when I started music that um, I will be myself, I'll make myself an ambassador. But you see, if you remember when we were growing up too much, HIV and AIDS was a real thing. So I told myself, I'm an ambassador since I have some influence, talk to people about it. In every album, I'll do at least one song that probably will talk about HIV and AIDS. That's why I remember from even Yakumbu, you must go in a journey, you can go in a So when I was getting now on the Kaya album, I saw, let me, let me do a song Kaya. How that whole concept came about, I was just, it was like a joke. We had a funeral in the neighborhood. Then there was this man, I remember Peter Zongwe, so mm -hmm. we would sit there as men, you know, after fire, we were drinking, having your kamosi. Then there was this man who, some, elderly man, he, he, he would pass always. So every time he would pass, most of the times I wasn't there. That day when he was passing, then the guy just got irritated. Ah, come down like a boy and I gave you. I figured because I'm, he used to talk too much when he was passing, you know. So he came there, he looked at us, he said, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house, you know. Yeah. Just like that. So everyone was just, me, it struck me to say, wow, this is an old man asking whether we'll get there. I forgot about it. So one day I was home, just playing with the keyboard, ideas started coming, and I somehow I managed to do the chorus and some chords, and I put it on my machine. I, I, I packed it. I think all six months passed. Mm -hmm. I'm going through the machine one day, never to my new to my ideas. I said, okay, this is interesting. Let me start working on it. The rest is history. And you know, when you did that song, a lot of us, because when you said uh, 2010, it seemed far, and a lot of us were thinking, hmm, it's true, it's like 2010. So when people cross over 2010, they were like, ah, 2010, we've made it 20. I think it's, it's just struck something in everybody's mind. Yeah. They, were, they started thinking about their lives and how they are living their lives. But that was, you are a creative, a real creative, that's all we can say. How long have you been married? Hmm. <laughs> I, I, I need to count. <laughs> I need to count. <laughs> how, how is it been since 2010? Like, you know, you, I think you, when you were, you were getting married, you were young, eh? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people felt to maintain, and especially if you're in the spotlight, you were at your peak. Obviously, you have ladies throwing themselves at you. But how have you managed to still just keep your home? And I think uh, it's tough. It's tough. It's something... Um, you work towards. The first thing I, I had to agree with my wife is to see one of one in the new Yeah. You understand me, you have accepted me. To make this easier, I would love as much as possible you not to be also in the limelight. Oh yeah. So if you've noticed the very few people know how my wife looks like. Even I don't know. That was by design. We said no no no. Because once everyone knows who your who's your wife so you, those are things that just create problems and in your home you've also got your own fights. Yeah. You, you, you see? I think the first photo I saw, was it Exa who posted? Oh, when, 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 when we are competing. <laughs> <laughs> we were busy manufacturing yeah. babies. Yeah, how many kids do you have? I have three. Okay, Niza and the others. And, and Niza, you know when you say Niza? Nisa is... Time flies. Uh -huh. Can you believe Nisa is in grade 12? I saw that you posted that. Mm. Makuru, man. Eh, makuru, sir. Imwe. But that, that's good. So uh, that's why I've been curious, because you, you live your life private, like privately, and your wife, I first saw her when Exile posted that photo, and obviously that's an old beat, so maybe... Very we, old. We still don't know how she... I, mm. I would say I still don't know how she looks like, mm -hmm. even from that photo. So what would you say to a lot of, um, you know, like uh, young artists that are coming up and there are these struggles. They're, they're obviously going through the same things that you went through, maybe even worse with social, with social media. What would you say to them to, maintain, to make sure that their home is maintained and it's... 
working both so ways. you see one, one thing i've learned it's about preference some are able to have even their partners in the limelight and they manage they strike a balance mm -hmm. so it's more of preference yeah we preferred it like that and i think it has worked for us okay so others it's about we, we, we will you manage mm -hmm. both of you in the limelight and both of you I don't know. I haven't, um, I haven't seen you do a, do a lot of uh, collaborations locally. Is that by choice? No, no. Um, I do collaborations. I, I've, I've done a lot during my time of too much music. Now it's a bit... The, like George Wango. You see, like right now, I can still do, but... Yeah. Um, me, I don't go in the studio to say, I want to do a song with the, this one. Even when I was doing those songs like Takwa Kabe featuring George Bang, I would go in the studio, I write the song, I finish it, I even sing myself like a chorus. Then as I listen to it, I find that, hmm, yeka nyimbo, yambo kamba, George Bang. Chibango, then I say, ah, I think George can sound better here. And for sure, when he comes, he's going to execute it perfectly. Yeah. I did with Fresh, George Wangu, oh, at my peak, as well with JK, and I would write other songs. Oh, but, Nimbo Yeka is but, Apa, use this one. When I did Warumi, I remember I was there, I just said, mm. I asked Marie, Marie, you're going to Nimbo Yaka? Brian Kongbo Yaka, Bwani, I said, ah, no, I'm in. We just called him, maybe Nimbo just listened, one minute he loved it and he was doing it. Yeah. And it came out so well. Okay. So, I, a song has to tell me. Then for the other artists, if they want, like, like uh, Mark 2 came, I'm doing this song, no problem, bring it, we yeah, do it. Yeah, very recent. Yes. Uh, but I ask for time. I, I spend so much time. I never love to be rushed. Then you won't get the best out of me. Yeah. Me, I've got songs that were written for years. I'll do a song, I'll finish it, i listen to it, i pack it. Well, what is what is one thing you remember when you were starting? One thing that stood out for you, positive or negative? Did you guys struggle so much to, to like you, you mentioned about penetrating through yes, the, yes, the room, yes, yeah. but uh, maybe studio time? Yes, that's where I was gonna go actually. Yeah. My my struggle, something that really was negative and made it positive for me, was. After I did the Masiku Once a Song, the project, the album, now I had to do the next album, which was Ama Loving, where you have the Chikon Chago Julia songs and my journey. I never had money. So what I did is, by then, Nexus Studios, the, the same Nexus that you have now, was by this a carousel, mm, I don't know what buildings are somewhere in town. Mm -hmm. So I went there, they never had uh, uh, enough producers. So we, we struck a deal, Mr. KMT, I said, fine. During the day I'll be coming here, I work on your artists. I produce their music. Then in the night, I can use the studio for my staff. Okay. That's the deal we struck. So during the day, I would go there, work the whole day, knock off, do the whole night. Which artists did you work with that time, did you produce for? <laughs> would be amazed. They might be. When a man, people want to say, Baja, go ask us, we're crazy. Uh -huh. All those guys. Okay. A lot of artists, I worked with them there. Then, one day, I was doing my night session. I, I went home around 15, came back, do my night session. So there was a room where I would lock up, there's like a mattress, or mm -hmm. or gone. So that night, for whatever reasons, I forgot to remove it and they locked that room. The car said. So I started to work just around 22, 23. I just said, oh, today I want to rest. I work the whole night. 22, 23, my night is end. Yeah. <laughs> you have no mattress, you have no couch, you have no, and you can't go back home. 22, it's late. It's late. Ibex. it's late. You have to wait for the bus. You're in town. Yeah. Then I had a lot of thought. I said, ah, so what if you think that we turn music? Then I said, okay, fine. I would take it to the max. I think that was a, a negative that brought a positive out of it. From that, I just said, it has to pay. Was your family supportive? 
Yeah, it was yeah. tricky at first. It was very, very tricky. But uh, in a way, it became supportive. Because if you are going through that and then your family is also saying, you see, this is what we were telling you. Mm -hmm. So, dad, dad just told me, okay, see, I'm from a Christian background and my dad is one senior man in church. So, he was very uncomfortable initially. It's like at one hour past. Yeah. He had a problem with my hair, had a problem with me. But, but he told me, no, finish your school, finish. Okay, I'm taking you to college, you're going to do. I said, fine. I went to college, I finished my diploma. Daddy, what did you study? Electrical engineering. Daddy, I'm done with school. So then now, me, I'm happy. You can now do what you want. It's what you, if you fail there, at least I won't feel guilty that I didn't do my part as a father. Is that cool? Uh, but now I, he, he would even call you and say, You're coming from a Christian home of what you're saying, How was and that? that's what was really <laughs> amazing. Because even my parents, where they were, they would feel the pinch at church. But where they used, they stay in Bala. But everywhere they went in Bala, when people knew they were my parents, they just found life becoming easy for them. Everyone was saying, when they meet someone, so their perspective about music started to change without me putting an effort. Just people like you, the fans. Yeah. You find he's on the road, he's, he's going somewhere, he's trying to catch a bus to Kasama. A car will stop, goes with him. Which is Kasama, it money, I don't know, I'm going to be like, Then you'll be like, oh, okay. So, you should want to have to Life. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So, you slept in a corner. Patch corner, man. Until 05. See, I'm going to be right. I'm going to be right. I'm going to be right. I'm going to be But I was in boarding school, so it wasn't very strange. Yeah. Morning, then I just went back home, slept again a bit came back the following night and I worked. Okay, nice. Danny, we can chat the whole day because I have a lot of things, but what should we expect from Danny this year? You see, now it's about inspiring more artists, more people, more projects like this, just to inspire this. I want, I'm an artist, I want art yeah. to go. I want artists to start making money from arts. Mm -hmm. So all I can promise are more of such projects Apart from this, there are other things that I do, which people, I'm sure my fellow artists will learn and one day will appreciate. But of course, one or two songs, just because um, it doesn't mean I've stopped music, no, no. But definitely I will do a song, one or two. I'll be doing a song or two every year. At least you don't, one you're, or two. you're not willing to do an album, eh? Ah, no, no, no. You did I don't your think part. I would do an album now. It would be, this one argument I had one person, hey, why? Switch some money, boy. Hey, what, what? Hey, muna see the man. Hey, change, change. I said, you see, in music, you have to understand. Then I gave him one simple answer. You've always had the stand big music first, eh? Yes. And I never miss. You never miss, right? So which artists have been here? Yeah, well, you gonna you be forty. We had a uh, when the boys to men. boys to men. What, what? Then I asked him as a question. All those you mentioned, did they come with new albums? They understand the value of what they've done already. That's what you work with. Yeah. You don't want to start mixing that. Now what we want is new artists start getting our songs and doing remixes. Oh yeah. That's how you you move. Where can people get these? These um right now there's a, a pawn shop at East Park. We just said you could decapo at the Kidit. Okay. You can get them there and um, by the end of the year we'll there will be more brands. You see, DVD is just not going to be, as it says here, DVD phone. This is DVD even phone accessories. It's a project we'll be doing. We'll be having chargers. We'll be having all this information I can say now. Nice. So it's a project that I hope will spark more brands to go on to see tomorrow Helen, Helen laptops. Definitely. Definitely. You know, <laughs> yeah. Something just. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay, guys, so you, you, you can go to East Park at Kirit near the Capo and you'll be able to get these headsets. Come on, let's keep it local. The way we love Zambian music, let's start using Zambian products. And uh, I think that's the way to go. <laughs> it's even signed here. Uh, Danny but Kai. What is signature? Uh, nice. Who are your top three artists right now, the ones that you listen to locally? Um, your Maps. Uh -huh. He's brought some feel, some music that's. It's everywhere. 
I love what is is really doing what we used to. Maybe that's why even the music is good. What we used to do, you listen to an American song or a J Jamaican song, you get inspired by it, get some vibe from it, but Zambianize it. Yeah. Like that, you start creating your identity. I love what is doing uh, your, your maps, and um, I'm trying to find someone new who's very very new. Yeah. Of course, he's always innovative. I love what he, he thinks outside the box in terms of music. You just come and do a song with you. The first beat he sent me was, mm. you know, he's not scared to do such, which is good. And it's quite different. And of course, I'm a fan of Chandanake. Yeah. I love also their creativity. When I listen to music, it sounds like uh, m is it Mexican calypso, some C Caribbean type of s system, yeah. which has been brought to Zambia, where they shout too much, hey, hey, yeah. hey, 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 Last words first, thanks to you. Thanks for being on your platform. I love it. I watch it. Especially, I won't mention. <laughs> <laughs> you already mentioned to me earlier. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, um, people, we are here as you know. See you this year again. Usual Danica Music Fest. It's going to be September. First week of September. Actually, oh, I can even say it here. First week of September. First Friday. Because that's my target. Yeah. Hoping there's no COVID. Um, Did it affect you in any way? Oh. Not like COVID, but, uh, That's another story. Yeah? It, was it messed bad. you up. Bad. The whole house. The whole house? The Ooh, don't the kids. Bones, eh? Yeah, but... I'm going to get the kids. Ah! I'm going to get the kids. I'm going to get Ah, very fit. Since the week. Mama. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad you passed through. You went yeah, through that. Yeah, it was a trial, but it was fine. Everyone is okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So first week of September, we look forward to the Danny Kaya Music Festival. Great lineup this year as well. We've already started making our lineup of artists. You work like an international artist. That's very nice. You don't plan things for many apa. Let's do this. Tafi bomba. Yeah, Tafi bomba as well. Planned well. Venues already being secured. We start. It's You're going around Zambia, or this is just my a idea of that festival. My initial idea is that it's supposed to be one big festival once a year. Okay. That's a plan, but I'm being tempted, you know, there are people on the Copper Belt, can't you also bring it here? Yeah. So probably maybe we'll be doing Lusaka and Copper Belt. I don't think we'll manage because it's costly, it's taxing, it's it's a lot of work to, to yeah. put up that thing together. It's okay. a lot of work. Okay. It's a lot of money. Okay, looking forward to that. I always enjoy watching your, your, your live music, you guys. So, did you think people are going to receive it well as well? The what? The music when you started yeah, saying, because I, I remember you posted, uh, mm. was it Danny at 40? That was mm -hmm, like the beginning yeah. of yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. And people responded and you thought, okay, was that when you said we can continue? Or even the time you were saying Danny at 40, you already knew that? That plan uh, was born maybe in 2015, 2016. Because okay. I, I was only reminded in 2019, that's the when we did the first one. Then when we were traveling, my best player was reminding me, but when you started talking about this, but two, three years ago, no, the future, I want to do a festival. I couldn't even remember. Yeah. Not knowing I've been planning it passively. Yeah. So it's something I knew it would work. Because I've seen, I know people love them music. We just don't give them enough platforms to come and experience it. And my aim was that we We've had all these stand big music festival, what was music festival, but when it's a Zambian festival, we don't put in much in preparation. So I said, I want to create an environment that looks like there's an international act, but it's all Zambian. And all musicians should just be Zambian. That's how my dream about that started to come. So even the music system, we look at what we do. We do sound wave, the stage, the lighting, it's all top notch, top, top range. Yeah. And but the there's live no performances because every time perfect. you see such an equipment, which could be a coffee, yeah, could be coffee. Why can't there be Mosegeta? Why can't there be a Mayengi? Why can't there be Dani or Israel? Putting value, me, my aim is just to keep putting value to music. 
Okay. That's what I believe God made me to do music. Nice. Nice. Okay, I'll keep asking. I keep asking. I have so many questions and I hope one day we can chat again. Yeah. Because I know it's not easy to get him. So I'm just hoping one day when he's free we can have another chat and uh, a better chat. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, thank you so much for coming through. Thank you, Helen. Welcome. Yes. Bye-bye. I'm going to give you feedback. I'm definitely excited about these things. So guys, get them from uh, ISPAC. Bye-bye.